Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share with you highlights from my Christmas dinner as well as meaningful moments from the days following Christmas Day. So let's begin. I decided to make a pot roast for my Christmas dinner. I find that a pot roast is really conducive towards a small gathering because it's not as intimidating as preparing a Christmas turkey, for example. So once you've browned the meat and placed it in the Dutch oven, it basically cooks on its own. And the result is wonderfully delicious and nourishing. So here's my Christmas dinner. Obviously, I didn't eat all of it in one sitting. Uh, there were lots of leftovers. And I really love this accompanying salad because it contains clementine slices and dried cranberries. For dessert, I had a slice of apple pie with vanilla ice cream and fresh sliced strawberries. I'm at an age now where I mainly receive consumables as gifts. For the first time, a family member gifted me this enormous gift basket from wine country. It's filled with all sorts of goodies like chocolates, nuts, crackers, so I'm looking forward to it. I also received this Snoopy mug which came with um, the ingredients for a chocolate cake. I'd never heard of cake in a mug before so I'm really eager to try it. So basically the instructions say that you tip the dry ingredients into the mug, then add three tablespoons of milk and three tablespoons of vegetable oil. I'm using a, a little measuring cup from Anchor Hawking and I was really curious to try out this little measuring cup because it has measurements in ounces, tablespoons, teaspoons, and milliliters. So it's quite handy for measuring out small amounts. So then after you've added the wet ingredients, you then mix it all up in the mug. I was a little worried about the mixture being lumpy, um, but I found that it did mix up quite well without any lumps that needed to be blended out. So the next step is to Place it in the microwave for two minutes. The packaging didn't stipulate what level uh, the microwave setting should be at, so I just assumed that it was supposed to be set to high, which is what I did. So after two minutes, I took it out of the microwave and it looked well baked to me.
I decided to add some vanilla ice cream to it and I was really really eager to try it out and I have to say it's the most delicious chocolate cake I've ever had. It was intensely chocolatey and really moist. I've been watching a lot of Lord of the Rings over the Christmas holidays and I was inspired to pick up this grey long line cardigan in the Christmas sales. It doesn't have any buttons so I had to improvise and add in these vintage brooches. I was inspired to create sweater clips uh, to wear with my new long cardigan. Sweater clips have not been in fashion for many many decades so I used two hair clips and looped a chain um, between them. So I'm, I'm pretty pleased with my efforts. Please let me know in the comments what you prefer. Do you prefer the silver brooch, the gold brooch, or the sweater clips? So here are my sweater clips that I've improvised out of hair clips. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you here on this channel again soon.